Evening, everyone. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. First at five right now, a bold bank robbery targeting safe deposit boxes. But these robbers did not go through the front door. No, they worked their way in through the roof. And tonight, police are trying to figure out if this is part of a bigger crime spree. CBS 2's Steve Langford is live now in Rigo Park with this unusual heist. Steve? You know, you think your precious belongings are safe inside those steel boxes in a bank vault, but a sophisticated break in here at this branch on Woodhaven and 64th Road has made a mockery of bank security. Safety deposit boxes robbed and discarded on the roof of Maspeth Federal Savings. The stunning crime scene viewed from Chopper 2 following a well planned weekend heist that went completely undetected until Monday when the bank opened and then frantic customers showed up demanding to know about the valuables they thought were safe here. You know, we just want to go ahead and find out what's there. I mean, if it was my box. Saturday, about midnight, police say the crooks cut through the roof and the bank vault ceiling, helping them. Themselves to the safety deposit boxes. We saw a uh, ladder there and in the long ladder. Several neighbors now noticing holes cut in residential fences behind the bank. But this man, who did not want to appear on camera, says he called police Saturday afternoon, hours before the bank break in. When I saw the hole in the fence and the ladder on the ground, I notified the local precinct. They said they had no open case and they knew nothing about it. The man says he did not see police come by to take a look. It's a 10 case pattern, about a year now. The NYPD connecting this latest rooftop bank break into, among others, a nearly identical heist at a bank in Borough Park in early April. The robbers are slick, police say. This crew are pros because they, um, they cut the, uh, the video in the We do have some images from this crew. Not to mention the fact that the closest neighbor, whose backyard now part of the crime scene with two holes cut in his fence, is almost never home on Saturday nights. He requested we not show his face. They must have watched for several weeks that we were not here over the weekends. Because if we were here, they wouldn't do it. Among the leftovers up on top of the bank, a plywood hut that neighbors say they don't recall ever seeing before that may have been part of the break-in operation. We've also asked the NYPD about the neighbor's claim that he saw something and he said something beforehand. Well, we are waiting for answers from the NYPD. They are working on that. Live in Regal Park, Queens, Steve Langford, CBS 2 News. Steve, thank you. And here's more information you need to know about safe deposit boxes. The experts tell us your valuables might not be covered in the event of a bank burglary. The Insurance Information Institute says banks don't insure safe deposit boxes. They typically cover cash thefts only. However, if your safe deposit box is stolen, ask if there's any compensation. Before storing valuables in a safe deposit box, insure them individually through your homeowners or rental insurance. And be sure to tell your insurance company you are keeping the items in a safe deposit box.